You align the Greek letters to match what you saw in the stained glass mural. Oh, so we don't even have to do it. It's unfortunate, but cool. You found a sheaf of letters and a red box. The box has happy birthday written on it and holds a corsage of dried flowers that crumble when you touch them. The letters are all signed Sophia de Lota. Will you pick up the items? Yeah. Okay. Interesting. Anything else in there? Seems not, so let's give these letters a read. Letter number one. My dearest daughter Charlotte, as I sit in silence struggling to write this letter to you in English, I sense the arrival of winter is near in Arden Castle. I feel it makes me a bad mother since I am unable to make you happy. I cannot lament enough how my selfish affair has entangled so many people, including you, my dear, who were sent to Wales to encounter many sorrowful experiences. I probably will never see you, nor your brother, nor your sister again. But one thing that will not change is that you are my beloved daughter. You are the daughter of the man whom I love from the bottom of my heart, Philip Christopher. I am sure you must resemble him greatly. You were blessed when you were born, and that you are still alive is a testament to that fact. I often wonder what the color of your eyes is, and how it would feel to run my hands through your hair. I can't help but to dream about the day I meet you, although deep down inside I know that day will never come. We might be far away in distance, but we are always together in my heart. Please take good care of yourself. Your mother, Sophia Delota. Letter number two. My dearest daughter Charlotte, five summers already passed since you entered this world. I think I must have written over twenty letters by now. Despite my poor penmanship, how happy it makes me to know that my feelings are being conveyed to you. I wonder what I should tell you today. I think I will talk about your father. Your father, Philip Christopher, is the son of Count von Kunzenmark. Sweden's artillery, artillery Inspector General. Your father was a childhood friend of mine, and I am the daughter of a duke. Unfortunately, Philip and I eventually had to part due to the inevitable circumstances of our country. An arrangement was made so that I was to marry and be queen to court Hanover and spend days filled with hardship. It was, your father, it was your father who came into my life again and saved me. Your father and I spent many years loving each other. It's a fact that I fell in love with somebody, although I was already married. Some would call this a secretive affair, but our love was genuine and pure, especially when compared with the marriage arrangement with Court Hanover, which was stained with politics and power. Please forgive your foolish mother, your mother, Sophia Delata. Letter number three. My dearest daughter Charlotte, please allow me to celebrate your twelfth birthday with you. May God's blessings and grace be with you. What would you like for your birthday? Would you like a raspberry cake? I should like to get you a beautiful dress along with a golden hair ornament brooch. I want to braid happiness into each loop of your hair. When you could dance in the court, then you could dance in the court like a precious jewel. My dear Charlotte, are you well? I hope you haven't been become sick. I only wish to make you happy, even if I have to sacrifice my own life. Is that a wish that cannot be granted? I would like very much to get to know you, even if it's only a glance. I want to see how you've grown up. There isn't a day that goes by that I do not pray for your well-being. I try not to lament, but I love you from the bottom of my heart. Your mother, Sophia Delata. And that seems to be that for the letters. They've got some feels going in this game. That's uh, a big sacrifice somebody had to make. Uh, rather unfortunate and sad, but this woman, this Delata, is willing to do a lot just to be with her daughter Sophia and that is quite respectable uh, quite respectable okay so up there was the weird cut scene with the almost comical mummy so this way and we need to go through the door that was broken into the wall sorry if I don't talk myself through these things I will get lost if any of you watched my Final Fantasy 12 uh, LP you'll remember my probably most commonly said line in that LP is, I'm shit with maps.
quite a simple battle, and Kadoka grew a level through it. Um, how fast do I want to make her? Let's do that. Let's do some of that. That looks pretty good. Um, if he's going to be the tank, he, he needs to have just a lot of HP. More dried food. Sounds good. Sounds good. Actually, I wonder if that gate's unlocked now. No, it's not. Okay. Just checking that some weird, you know, forces haven't moved again. Um, yeah, looks like we're going through here now. I'm gonna quick save it. Make sure I did that right. Yeah, I did. Okay, cool. Just making sure. Oh, it almost looks um, supernatural when you do it that way in a game like this. Uh, church nave, first floor. Oh, listen to that echo. Was that a hole in the wall to the north, though, or was it not? Don't really know. It looks like it. Um, there's something moving behind. Okay, I guess we have to go that way. Now I'm scared. <laughs> um, is there anything up here? Looks like no. Scared. Scared. What's gonna happen? So those like plants or some creatures tendrils? You can see the interior room through crack in the wall. It looks like a church of some kind. However, an unusual plant blocks you from going further. That's fine. I I didn't wanna go in there anyways with that weird plant. So um That's fine. What the hell did I see moving?
right, another simple battle. Kadelka's growing a level. Um, it's just super buffer. Um, Piety's defense, right? Yes. Let's make him super buff. Oh, you too. Interesting. I don't expect that. Um. That looks good to me. That looks good to me. What did I want to do in the menus? Nothing. I think I'm good. Fuck. What the? What's that bell? It's gonna be the bell gargoyles, like just the passing of another day. Like Dark Souls, huh? Oh no! Today's All Saints Day. Wait. Swear cheese. If I'm right, and there's a gargoyle, I call being Jesus for the day. The spiritual energy is coming together. What power? It's like monster. Ah! Called it. Oh. Damn. Holy shit. What? What's happening? This can't be. Holy shit. Did you guys just leave Kudelka? No! Kudelka! They fucking ditched us. Um, so, so that was weird that I called the bell gargoyle thing, considering I've just been playing Dark Souls again recently. Um, can I not do this? Can I just run away? Oh, hey, you can do, you can shift the screen. That's cool. Uh. Oh, I can't. Okay. Um. So if you, how's a so press triangle? Can I just leave? <gasps> I just left. That's awesome. Does that mean I win? Holy shit! That's awesome. Intergrounds church door side. Huh. What happens if I go back and so oh, Son of a bitch, they don't even have you save. Hold on. Alright. That, this change... worked? Okay, I was like, did it freeze? <laughs> um... Well, hum... I was about to say, I'd kind of like to save, and that looks like a safe space normally, right? You see a statue of a woman, and there's a weird symbol at her feet. Do you want to attach the icon? Oh! Okay. Is she getting the other? No? Okay, but I, there's another statue over there, yeah? Yeah. So I guess this is where we do that? Okay, there's two doors there. What are you gonna take? A necklace? Hey, I was right! Okay, very cool, very cool. But I also have what, like a crown or some shit like that? Uh, see if there's any others around here. There's something right there. Underground's arbor side, okay. Can see a door under the water, interesting. Interesting. Looking for more statues here. Oh, sweet, but what did it say? Hey, 
It said something. Son of a bitch. Oh no. Uh, do we want to do combat on our own? I'm gonna guess not. Well, it's just one of these things, so let's just blow it the hell up with flare. Go away. Go away from me. Okay, I think we're fine. I wonder if we could have taken on that gargoyle, but it let us run from that fight. I just kind of did that because the cutscene was terrifying. Um, and so that thing looked incredibly powerful, but it makes me think we're probably going to have to run into it again sometime. A Galahad sword? Like Sir Galahad from the round table? Um... Galahad's sword, a copy of the sword used by Sir Galahad at the Rand Table. It has not survived the years well, becoming a brittle and weak uh, and weak that the blade has snapped. Okay, it's like hardly a sword, but maybe it gives um, magic properties. No, no, not really. It's just really, really weak. Um, what's the point of that? It's shining with a sacred light. It appears to have been purified by the holy water. Okay, so I am going to call the session here. I'm a little scared that I'm all alone right now. I uh, don't really like that in a party-based game. So hopefully we will find the two that frickin' ditched us soon. And I've got some hunting to do for a scene to capture for you guys that, you know, isn't all choppy. But yeah, take care, everybody. I will see you in the next episode of Kuldelka. Cool bye bye for now.